Yo, yo, what's cracking? This is Richie Rich. And this is Richie Rich Kennels. Beside my car business, I love pets. I love animals. I love dogs. I breed cane corsos and bullies. Some of the baddest cane corsos in the United States. Some of the baddest bullies in the United States. I feel. Uh, it takes a lot of work. It's a day and night process. A lot of, a lot of people think you just get, get rich off puppies selling them and stuff. That's not the case at all. It's a 24 hour job. Uh, these are our family members, so you got to take good care of them, feed them well, give them a lot of love, walk them. Uh, right now they're in the kennels, usually they run the yard, run them in different groups at different times. Uh, certain females on a yard don't get along with other females, so I have to separate the females. And I only have one stud on my yard. I have upcoming stud, uh, Freaky Deaky, direct son off Freak Show. I got an up and coming bitch on my yard, Chow Bella. Uh, she's two times she's two times Chucky so I got some good blood in my yard I got uh, a direct son off Hemi Big Block Rex a million and then uh, I got some other good blood in my yard I got some uh, cane corsos on the other side of the yard uh, you know that's how we do it at Richie Rich Kennels yes our dogs are fully papered up we have UKC paper AKC papers depend on what dogs I'm breeding depend on how the how the customer wants to purchase the dogs, if you want to purchase the dogs with papers or without papers, with breeding rights or without breeding rights. Um, depends on how, but all of our dogs that we breed here are Rich and Rich Kennels. Uh, we have full paperwork. I work with some of the finest vets in the area. And I have also a vet on hand. She comes out to our facility, helps us out in any, any situations that might come about. Depending on what dog you get from us, they either come with Dock tails, dew claws removed or clipped ears. Uh, sometimes on the bullies, I leave their ears. On the king corsos, generally, I try to I try to let them go out of this facility fully prepped. What I mean by fully prepped, they have docked ears, or they got dock tail, clipped ears, and dew claws removed. And uh, I breed for aggression when it comes to king corsos. I breed aggressive king corsos due to the simple facts that my king corsos are for personal protection. Personal protection dogs. The uh, the sire of my yard. He's uh, Caruso, and uh, he's a certified personal protection dog trained by NorCal Valley Canine Car Dog. And then Lazuli, she comes comes from personal protection bloodlines. Her father was a direct police dog of City Oakland Police. So I breed my king horses with aggression. My bullies, on the other hand, are complete opposite. I bully. I I, I breed my bullies with zero aggression however they are dogs they are animals so sometimes they do get aggressive with each other they're 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 canine by nature so you have to understand the species and the breed but i, I do breed my dogs non-aggressive when it comes to my bullies a lot of people may mistake the dog's look for being aggressive because of their stature their nature their look but they're really good family dogs um, they love water they're real active they're sport dogs they love being inside the house. They, they adapt to whatever environment you bring them in. Uh, it's up to you as the owner to be able to teach the dog what you want from the dog, what you're trying to achieve from the dog. Are you trying to, are you trying to raise a working dog? Are you trying to raise a family dog? Uh, my cane corsos are working dogs. Uh, they're separate from family dogs. I keep them kenneled up. I keep them separated. They go on restricted walks. They're limited to the to to the interactions with human beings, just due to the simple facts of how I raise them. My bullies, on the other hand, I try to raise them. My breeding dogs on the yard are sometimes aggressive to other human beings for the simple facts that being a breeder and having dogs come up missing, it's a little easier for me to have my dogs adapt to just the kennels themselves and the staff of the kennels. As far as the puppies that leave our yard for the bullies, we, we raise them with a lot of love. Uh, we kind of are hands off a lot of the times in situations. We want the, our customer uh, to have an, either if they're bringing the pet in as a family pet, as a, as a family member, we want them to be malleable to what they want to get out of the animal. As far as the cane corsos, they have zero contact most of the time with human, human being interaction until they're placed with their with their handler.
suck a pocket whip cause this a sucker free lane. Harry Hoover, Hussein, kick ass weed, Wu-Tang, bees for big on the Bentley, can't squeeze through lanes. Raw papers in Jamaica, eat some Aki Roller Acre, I be hippie blitz, trippy sticks, activate the vapors and this anthrax.